Hey y'all, I know it's been a minute. I've been I've been having a lot going on, okay? I mean in a lot when I say a lot going on, it's a good thing. Like I've been busy, so yeah. Anyways, I wanted to come and do a quick little reading before I left. We're about to go see Kevin Gates in a minute. A lot of Leo energy is already coming out. There is a dysfunctional as king of wands here he's in the reverse so this is somebody that does not have a handle on their like this person is very confused they don't have they don't have a handle on their sexuality their feelings their emotions they're just and this could be somebody that had a uh, past sexual trauma as a child in in childhood some sort it's whoever this is yeah, this is definitely a wounded warrior. A lot of Leo energy is out here. You could be a Leo. You could be dealing with a Leo. This could be a Leo female or male because we have a female and a male here. So it could also be a Sagittarius. Very in their feelings. Very like this person. They probably have some sort of sex addiction. I just heard a sex addiction. So they don't understand boundaries sexually and it's just sex 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 like they have to constantly be having sex with different people so this could be somebody like hypersexual there's a queen of cups here and a queen of pentacles in reverse and a tower in reverse so it looks like there's someone Hold on, I dropped the card. The moon is in reverse as well. There's a lot of emotional instability here and some financial instability too. It looks like on the uh, on whoever the woman is, this Queen of Cups um, could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Um, emotionally, they're there. Shit, I don't know how long that's been going on. So emotionally, this this water sign, this um, Cancer Pisces, Queen of Wands, I mean Queen of Cups. She's emotionally, she's learning, she's learning to understand her emotions. I don't know if this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the same thing. So it's like there's a feminine energy out here that's finally gaining control of their emotions, but they're still lacking in the financial department like they may be financially irresponsible um just be doing too much they don't save always spending money either that or just money it's hard to come by depending on their their situation there's something that's failing to launch i just heard failure to launch there is something that's failure to launch it's like a manifestation that's that's it's like here's the table here's the manifestation it's like it's going Ugh it can't it can't get up it can't go up like whatever this is somebody something that somebody's trying to do because they're not completely balanced yet or either they're still not financially responsible they're whatever the the case may be yeah you, somebody needs to save there's a king of pentacles here Yeah, somebody needs to be more strategic with something. What is this? There's a... Um, someone needs to be more strategic in manifesting what they want. This could be a man... Uh, this could be a status that a man wants. Or this could be a woman wanting this emperor and this wish fulfillment. So it could be one of two things. It could either be this man wanting or needing to do something to get to where he needs to be or this could be what a woman wants this person needs to be strategic this isn't giving me lying sneaking energy is this like you need to be more strategic in your execution i just heard yeah you need to be you need to stand firm decide stop being indecisive stop holding yourself back 
I've been getting heavy pregnancy. I've been shuffling these cards all day. It's something going on with a pregnancy. Whenever I see this card, sometimes I, sometimes I see it as the uh, the world card, you know, completing cycles and stuff. But sometimes this, to me, is I, I feel this is a, the womb. This is a baby, a portal, a baby coming through a portal. So there could be a birth coming. I just heard Scorpio season. Somebody could be giving birth to a Scorpio or giving birth by a Scorpio. To a Scorpio, by a Scorpio. What is this? See, this. y'all need to bo stop being indecisive. You need to make a choice so that you can have forward movement. Okay, so don't let something that somebody says to you at work discourage you or get you in your feelings, okay? I feel like somebody somewhere some, some somebody might get chewed out by a supervisor or something at work. Don't let that you know just take it with a grain of salt. Don't don't let it put you in this energy, okay? So, yeah, somebody going to get chewed out at work. Y'all spirit is telling y'all to stop being indecisive. This is the hierophant here. Is some sort of your higher self is trying to communicate with y'all and y'all aren't hearing it. It's some sort of truth y'all need to face. Stop juggling something. Stop juggling your emotions, I just heard. The Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Stop juggling. Stop balance. You know, stop juggling y'all's emotions. Y'all might need to retreat. Somebody got pregnant by some sort of Knight of Wands. This reverse King of Wands. Something happened. All right, well, I got to go. <laughs> I know that was a short reading. Um, I'll probably do some more tomorrow. We'll see. Hopefully I'm not hungover or anything. So, yeah. Wait, let me just, oh, let me get. Let me walk. I was hitting deck. I see that Lilo uses this deck a lot. I appreciate you. I love seeing people use my decks. And she uses my deck now a lot. And just about almost every reading, she uses this deck. So I will have them restocked soon. My shop is currently closed um, for my birthday season. My birthday was on the 8th. So, yeah, but soon I'll be back. Okay, so y'all watch out for somebody coming up soon. Some sort of some sort of contract that was broken from somebody with big dick energy. Someone I'm intrigued by you, energy vampire STD. Whoever this fuck boy is coming y'all's way, be aware. This is definitely an old contract that was broken. Somebody y'all stopped fucking with is still doing love spells on you. Somebody is still that somebody still got you in the back of their mind. This could have been somebody that you ain't messed with in a couple years. Heartbroken and betrayal. This person has a little bit of entitlement. Doing love spells in reverse. Didn't do on love spells, just came out. So I didn't pull that out and it came out again. So y'all are y'all are rebuking that shit. Cause it's, it was just sex. Y'all knew that it was just sex. Your bestie is an op. Uh, that WAP got them whipped, so that's why this person is still... Now they're going to say that they want to compete. The sexual attraction is strong, so y'all, uh, I'm trying to rob you of all your opportunities. This person is just trying to look. And I just actually saw a post. A man was talking about, like, I don't know how I got in that algorithm, but uh, I've been looking at TikTok a little bit lately. 
And it's been a lot of men spilling the beans on the true male mentality for a lot of men. Um, not all of them, but a lot of men that are flooding the dating pool have this mentality where they fuck women that they don't even like just to dominate them. They might feel like you a bitch to them, like it could be their boss or something. This is what the post was saying, but giving examples. Um, the boss could have been a bitch to him, and because she made him feel small and it pissed him off, now he's going to try and fuck her to reassert his dominance. It's a game they play. They don't give a fuck. They don't even have to be attracted to you to fuck you. And it's just a really, really fucked up, toxic-ass mentality that's out there. And that's what's coming your way. So somebody beware. Okay? Anyways, let me get on out of here. I'll see y'all later.